Uh, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rahakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the elder men that taught my elder apostles as well as my elder apostles and elder bishops a great millstone, peace and blessings unto the elect starting with 144,000. All right. Mr. Brother Atazaria from the Great Millstone, Houston. And I want to jump right into this lesson. It's not going to be long, you know, unless the Spirit says otherwise. Just dealing with pride. Okay. And first, I'm going to bring out the definition of pride. It says uh, Middle English, uh, pred, pred, all right, from the late Old English, preto, uh, just drop down, unreasonable self-esteem, unreasonable self-esteem, okay? Self-esteem, by definition, is what someone thinks of oneself, okay? Pride can is an ego feeder. Okay, pride clogs judgment. Pride, it will, as the scriptures. As a matter of fact, let's bring out a few scriptures. All right, let's just do this. All right, let's do this. All right, because I got pride pulled up on here. Okay, we'll get some scriptures and then we'll get right into it. All right, so we'll bring out uh, Proverbs uh, 8 and 13. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is to hate evil, pride. So we're supposed to hate pride, okay? And arrogancy, and the evil way, and the fraud mouth do I hate. So we're supposed to also hate pride, okay? The scriptures speak about pride and what it leads to. See, when somebody is proud, they are unreasonable. Okay, you can't reason with them because in their mind, their ego, okay, that pride <clears throat> won't allow them to admit to being wrong, okay? They won't be reasonable, okay? You see that a lot with these so-called women, all right? They're proud and haughty, okay? And you can't tell them nothing, all right? <clears throat> Because of their pride, okay, hey, and their pride is going to come before they fall, okay? The Heavenly Father is looking for the humble, the meek, okay? The scripture says in St. Matthew 5 and 5, the meek shall inherit the earth, not the proud. The proud is already in rulership, the ultimate proud, okay? But you got uh, those of our people that, that have a proud uh, attitude, man. Okay, and for no damn reason. The scripture says, why is earth and ashes proud? <laughs> Go figure. You know? Because that's all we are. This body is just earth. It's just, it's, it came from the dirt. The Heavenly Father lent us this body. Okay? He put this spirit in it. Alright? We didn't do anything. Okay, nor do we control anything. All right. So what is there to be proud about? Okay. Let's go back. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy. See? Evil. Pride came right after that. You see? Because pride leads to evil. Okay? Evil means bad times. <laughs> Prime example, Esau Edom. His pride has got the world to where it is right now. And he won't admit he's wrong. Just using him as an example. Okay? He won't admit that he's destroyed the earth. Messed up every damn thing. Okay? Because of his pride. You see? And look what it's led, led to. The world in me. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. All right. Proverbs, I'll bring that 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. You see? But with the lowly is wisdom. You see? Because pride will sit there. Brothers is telling, telling you you're wrong. You're wrong, bro. Look. 
da 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 You got more than two brothers coming to you. Bro, you wrong. Pride gets in the way. So then at the end of the day, what does it bring? Shame. Is you dead ass wrong? You see? In that example. So then what does it bring? Shame. Okay? Pride can lead to a lot of shameful situations. Okay? Look how these women look <laughs> on these little shorts, man, being proud and then end up being dead ass wrong. Okay? And, you know, it's a shameful situation. They should be shamed, which a lot of them in, you know, deep down, they are shamed, but they cannot admit it. Okay? Because they're proud. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yep. Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. All right. So let's go down to 16 and 18. <clears throat> Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction. You see? Being proud, not listening to instruction, which is from the scriptures. Okay will lead to what? Being destroyed because of pride. It clogs the mind. You see, that proud demon, okay? It says, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, that's Proverbs 16 and 18, okay? So it goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, you see? Verse, uh, Proverbs 29 and 23, a man's pride shall bring him low. You see? It can get an uh, individual destroyed. And in this case, we're talking about uh, you telling Jake, hey, bro, you know, dealing with brothers. Don't let pride get in the way, man. Okay? We all get corrected. Every, every last one of us, we get corrected all the time. Sometimes I had the, the video by a brother, the apostle, somebody bring or other brothers bringing it out, and I hear somebody like, God damn, <laughs> you know, it ain't often, which it shouldn't be, you know, but you be sitting there shaking your head at yourself, you know, we constantly are getting corrected, man. This whole what we're going through now is a is a a a, 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 a refinement, okay. So we're constantly being corrected. We can't let pride get in the way of that. Okay? Because it'll have us to be destroyed. Alright? It'll bring us low, as the scripture says. Okay? You can't get no lower in thermonuclear heat. Okay? So now, let's go to... Uh, since we're in Proverbs. Okay? Because I got some scriptures. Since I'm right here, let's do this. Proverbs 12 and verse 15. All right, this is what I got wrote down. Okay, it says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. You see? And when you're right in your own eyes, that's their pride, man. And it causes you to, it causes one to be a fool, man. Okay? It says, the way of a fool, well, I'm right. Shit, you might tell me, you know, but that's that pride, fueling that ego. See? Ain't nobody shit. You know, that attitude, that proud attitude, that's foolish. It says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. You can't tell him shit. He's right. He think he right. But he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. See? That pride causes causes one to be foolish. Okay? Let me get another one. Let's go to the book of Sirach. Like I said, it's just going to be a quick hitter. <clears throat> Sirach uh, 32 and 17. Let's see what they say. A sinful man will not be reproved. Okay, see, we to hate pride. So if you're full of pride, you won't be reproved. 
See, pride gets in the way of, of, of wisdom and, and righteous judgment, man. Okay? It is unreasonable. Okay? Self-esteem. But find it an excuse according to his will. <laughs> yeah. That's plain, man. Let's get one more. Let's go to 21. Just do this. 21 and what is 6? He that hated to be reproved is in the way of sinners. You see? But he that feared the Lord, hey, well, the fear of the Lord is to hate pride. You see? Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach 21 and 6. He that hated to be reproved is in the way of sinners because the pride. And tell me, me, which leads to what? A downfall to being brought low. But he that feared the Lord, see? One that feared the Lord is not going to be proud. See? Arrogant. Ego big as a house. See? Bring it out and close. Sirach 21 and 6. He that hated to be reproved is in the way of sinners. But he that feareth the Lord, Yahweh Yahushai, will repent from his heart, meaning his mind. Lord willing, this was edifying. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.